Hi, so today's video is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me. I have not done one of these in a really long time, blah, 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 my life is hard. You know the drill. So I have no idea what I'm doing today. I have really nothing going on. I'm going with my parents, gonna spend some time with my family and my sisters. I presume this is going to be a very long video. Thank you so much for watching anyways. Um, so I already primed my eyes and I used a uh, soft ochre paint pot from MAC. Really like this a lot. I don't use it that much anymore. I've just been using concealer as a primer. So it was kind of nice to pull that back out. Um, and then my lips are like pretty chapped. It's actually pretty cold here in Florida and it has been. I got this little sample from Sephora, um, Erin rose lip conditioner like this is an estee lauder brand i think i don't know i feel like they have perfumes and lotions and stuff i'm really not sure but this is really really good and it's very thick super shiny look how shiny the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna prime my face listen nobody talks about this nobody i i have no idea why i really don't this is the tarte love the packaging by the way this is the clean slate timeless smoothing primer i really like this it's just like this like moussey beautiful pore filling primer i'm only putting this where i have large pores and i want to smooth it out all right so now i need to figure out what i'm doing with my eyes i think i have an idea okay so for Christmas. Christmas. I got the Natasha Denona Star Palette from my parents. I'm dying. This is so gorgeous. It's seriously so gorgeous. So I should use this. It's like one of those things that I'm like, I don't want to use it because it's so beautiful. And it's like, well, you could die tomorrow, Natalie. You could die tomorrow. First, I am going to be using this Morphe R38 brush. I'm going to take this shade right here. It's like a light, light pink. I'm just going to put this in the upper crease. Okay, so as you can see, I built that up a lot, a lot, a lot so that it was actually like evident. Now we are going to go in with this shadow. Pretty much I should say obviously because this is like the type of shadow that I love. Like I love these colors so, so much. I'm gonna be taking this on a MAC 217. And what we're gonna do is put this in the outer corner and the inner corner. When you're going in the inner corner, I'm only going to place this on the movable part of my lid. I'm not gonna go into the upper crease and I'm not gonna go too far in towards my nose. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. We're gonna start in the outer corner though. And I'm gonna keep it pretty low, but it's okay if this goes a little bit in the crease and a little bit above the crease because I do wanna see it like that. Like when I'm opening my eyes, I wanna be able to see the color. Okay, so now you can see that on my lids and we are going to go ahead in to the inner corner now. Just go slow. I mean, that's the main thing. So you can already see I'm really concentrating this low. I'm not going too high up at all. Then I'll go back in with that original fluffy brush and I'm not gonna just blend all over the place. I'm gonna go like in the upper crease where the edges of that new shadow that we lay down, that's what I'm gonna lightly dust over. I see a lot of videos where they're like, and then just blend everything out. And it's like, okay, but do people really know what that means? Like I'm just going over the edges. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the darkest brown in this palette right there. I'm using a really teeny tiny brush and this is literally a paintbrush. $4 at Michael's Craft Store. I'm gonna just go on the outer corner with this. I really want the dimension out here. So 
So as you can see with that shadow, I stayed pretty low and I didn't cover up the maroonish red shadow completely. So I was trying to decide between these two shadows. This one's like Glitter Fest 2009 and this one is just super, super shimmery and it's kind of like a bronzy rose gold and I think that's the one that I'm gonna do. So that one is this one right here. For this, I am going to use glitter glue. I do want to make sure that number one, glitter's not getting all over everywhere and also that it really holds on to it and makes it as vibrant as possible so i'm taking the Too faced glitter glue this is freaking fantastic so using my finger and just a little bit of that product i'm gonna do this mostly in the very middle of my eye lid not like going up to the crease and I'm just gonna go right in with my finger to that shadow. I mean, this is freaking pigmented, so I do not need to be like digging in there. And then I'm just going to use my finger and press this on right onto the glue. And it literally is glue, so it's going to grab it right from your finger and stick like beautifully. Okay, so now we have that beautiful shadow on there, but like I said, we can't just leave it there and walk away. We need to blend the edges a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with that maroonish shade and I'll start here. I'm just gonna go a little bit on top of that shimmer just to blend where we originally had that reddish shade and then where we just laid down that shimmer. All right, so I wanna do something in the really socket of my eye, like right here, right above where that shimmer is. So I'm gonna try to go in with this shade. So this is the one that we've been using, the more red, and this one's more purpley maroon. So I'm gonna go in with this very like tiny flimsy brush, Morphe M562. And I'm just gonna start here and literally just going into the socket like this. This brush is easy because it literally, you could just go back and forth, like I'm not even trying. And it's just doing it for me because it fits right there in the socket. Now, I am craving a little bit of a darker outer corner. So what I'm gonna do is go in with the Lorac Pro and I'm gonna use this shade, Espresso. <sighs> that shade is so awesome. And I'm gonna use that little tiny brush again. And again, with the big fluffy brush, just gonna lightly go over, really lightly, barely touching. Now I wanna do winged liner. I like to use the tattoo liner in Trooper from Kat Von D and then the ink liner from Makeup Forever because it's super, black. Do you need to use both? No. But this one is kind of a shiny finish, which I don't like at all. And this is super, super, super matte, which I love. This brush tip is a little bit easier, in my opinion, for a wing. Now I say that and then watch, I'll screw it up, but we're going to try.
Something that I do is once I have wing liner on, you can kind of see where this brown stops and then the liner goes um, out like into the wing. So I like to take this brush or whatever brush I used for the brown or whatever I used in the outer corner and kind of just like connect it a little bit. And then I'm gonna go back in, no product on this brush. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that out again, just the edges. So everything connects nicely. I'm gonna do some mascara. This is my favorite mascara ever, Lash Blast Volume from CoverGirl. These are the lashes I'm gonna be wearing. These are incredible. So Ardell Studio Effects, take a screenshot of this, do what you gotta do. These are fantastic. I want to use this Fiona Styles Luminous Finish Foundation. So what I'm going to do is I just put some on the back of my hand and I'm going to use this Bogashi Paris, just like a little flat foundation brush. And I'm going to apply this, like distribute it, I should say, all over. Um, and then I'm going to go in with a brush and blend it out. God, it is so wet. Like it's such a liquidy-ish foundation. Then, holy crap, if you guys saw my first impression, you know I'm obsessed with this. I love this brush for foundation. This is the Artiste Oval 7. All right, so for concealer, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is in the shade Neutralizer. And I'm gonna do just like a little dab of this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer too. This isn't fair, it's super light. So I'm just gonna do a little bit I really want to get the Shape Tape Concealer, but my shade is always sold out, so it's really freaking annoying. For brows, I'm going to be using my favorite product. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. This is, in my opinion, better than the Anastasia one, and it's like seven or eight dollars so after i powder my face i am going to set them with a brow gel but right now what i'm going to do is go back in with my beauty blender tap out any creases that may have formed since I've been sitting here doing my eyebrows. Now I will go in and set it. That's like the best tip I can give you. And what I'm going to do is use the individual powder from Kat Von D. This is in the shade Lyric. She now has individual shades, which is so amazing. So it's magnetized and I have it in a Z palette. Now to set my face, what I'm going to be using is the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazon Clay Tinted Powder Finishing Powder. And I'm using this brush from Morphe, the MB1. All right, face is set. We're going to do our under eyes now. We're going to go back into the Natasha Denona Star Palette. This is a Sigma E30. Pretty much every brand has a pencil brush that is more than fine. I'm gonna go in with, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go in with this like more purpley one and I'm just gonna go under here. Okay, and then <clears throat> I am going to go in with that dark brown shade. I'm using a flat definer brush. This is the E15 from Sigma. And I'm just going to place this a lot closer to the lash line. I'm not gonna bring it down as much.
Now we're going to do some mascara on the lower lash line, and I'm using the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. I would be completely remiss if I did not use my favorite highlighting shadow, which is the Nylon from MAC. And I'm using this really tiny brush from Delium Tools. This is the 755. You can literally buy this on Amazon. And I don't want to cover up the maroonish red shade in there, but I do want to get right next to it. And I might as well go underneath my brow bone with this as well. And can't forget to add some um, brow gel. And this is really great because it'll hold your brows in place, but also if you have any powder, which I inevitably do on my brows from like setting my makeup, this will kind of take that powdery look away. And this is the Waterproof Brow Set from MAC. Okay, now we can do the rest of the face, which is arguably my favorite part. Okay, really excited to talk about this brush. I love it. Um, this is the Morphe M551. I started using it for powder to set my face, and then I started using it for bronzer, and I was like, hell yeah. And just lately, I've been using this Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in the shade Bronzed. Ooh, I'm really excited to use this blush. I love this blush. I love it, I love it, I love it. This is the NARS Sarah Moon collection in the shade Isadora. Holy crap. Try to get your hands on it online uh, if you can. This blush, like there was no stopping me. Like I would have sold my body to get the $30 to buy this blush. It was that gorgeous, I have nothing like this. I feel like only if you're like a hardcore makeup lover will you be like, oh yeah, I can see the hints of this and that. But, oh my God, I love it so much, so much. Okay, a highlighter that I feel the same way. Like when I look at this and when I use this, I'm like, holy crap, life is so good. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion in 01. It is like an iridescent pinky, slightly purple hints highlight. And it's just, it's incredible. I absolutely love it. Dear God. For my lips, I am going to use this lip liner from MAC called Half Red. I'm going to add a product that I really, really like. This is from MAC. It's a patent polish lip pencil and this is in the shade spontaneous it's really shiny and i think it goes with this look really well color wise and that is the final look how fun i love it love it love it i hope you guys do too Shout out to everyone who's wearing their boyfriend's clothes and a full face of makeup because this is my life. Maybe you were inspired by this look and picked up a few tips and tricks. If so, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you guys all in my next one. Bye.